Greetings, brethren of the heavy, and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews with me, George. And today's episode um, is carrying on from something I started last week, where I did three albums reviewed um, that I felt were underrated albums because they were overshadowed by a band's bigger successes or greater hits. But I decided to go with a slightly different angle now. Um, simplified things a little bit. I'm going to talk about one album each show that I feel is underrated, underappreciated uh, in a band's catalogue and that it's just a really solid album that just doesn't get enough love in my opinion. So I'm going with a name that you may have heard of, you probably haven't. I mean, who are these guys? Iron Maiden. The kings of heavy metal and new album, new wave of British heavy metal royalty that they are. The legends, Iron Maiden, with this album, Dance of Death. Now, let's just get this out of the way. That is definitely the worst album cover in their catalogue because they have a lot of brilliant album covers. Really great stuff. This is probably one of the worst album covers I think I've ever seen. It is absolutely dreadful. Luckily, the music, and unsurprisingly, because it's Iron Maiden, the music is fantastic. And I feel that this album does not get nearly enough love. This album came out in 2003. So this was the follow-up. I hope you can see the guys looking very metal there. The legends. So this was the follow-up to the comeback album where we saw Bruce Dickinson and Adrian Smith reunited with the guys back in the fold. Um, the mighty, I think it was 2000 or 2001, I think it was 2000 actually, Brave New World, which was, it was well received, absolutely loved across the board. And it's one of my favourite Iron Maiden albums, absolutely. I think it is such a fantastic album. But this album, I feel, just doesn't quite get enough love because it's the difficult follow-up album. How do you follow up an album which had so much expectation, anticipation, and it was a huge success? You just listen to that Rock in Rio live album where they played quite a considerable number of tracks from Brave New World. Absolutely storming stuff. Well received and absolutely loved by the fans. Now this album, I think it's it did have a live album um, recorded on the Dance of Death tour. I think it was called Death on the Road, and I've got it in here somewhere. But I, th I feel this album just doesn't get enough love, really. And you kick off the album here with Wildest Dreams and then Rainmaker. The two kind of flow together really nicely. Brilliant, heavy tracks, rocking stuff, really emotive. Bruce's vocals are Fantastic, absolutely on top form. The riffs, brilliant, very, very detailed music. I mean, Nico's drumming is fantastic. Steve is just thundering beast all the time. And it's just great. This is great heavy metal. Brilliant start to the album. No More Lies and Monster Girl. They're good tracks, definitely. They're, they're good Maiden tracks, good heavy metal tracks. You, you can't fault them. Absolutely not. The title track, Dance of Death, is like a mini epic. Not as long, shall we say, as some of the epic material they've done in recent years on uh, Book of Souls and latest release, Senjutsu. No, but it's a great track. It's, it's folky at times. There's sort of folky elements in there. Really good stuff. Very You could easily you can tell why it fits in very nicely with their live set uh, even until recent years but it's an easily rock along track you can instantly get in the groove very melodic stuff here gates of tomorrow is a great rocking track new frontier massive chorus lovely heavy stuff it's maiden it's made for the live set the mighty chilling passiondale is a cold killer of a track really fitting tribute to that absolutely awful event of the first world war the successive battles of passiondale 
really, really, really awful stuff. Brilliantly transcribed into this song. Really fitting tribute that really portrays the horrors of that war. The last three tracks, we've got Face in the Sand, Age of Innocence and Journeyman. I think they're all very deep tracks. They're all very emotive. They've got a lot of, they've got a lot of substance to them. There's a lot going on there, but it's really good stuff. Certainly is deep. That's the key element there. It's got depth. But there's not a bad track here. This is Maiden doing what they do. Fresh, it sounds fresh and invigorating. The band is clearly reinvigorated and they're riding that high from having Bruce and Adrian back in the fold. And I feel this is a really solid album that is just overshadowed a bit by, obviously you've got the classic Maiden era from self-titled all the way through until I would probably say Seventh Son. Some would argue that um, The Fear of the Dark is also one of the best Maiden albums. I personally feel that the No Prayer for the Dying and Fear of the Dark era, they leave a little bit to be desired, but obviously it was a precursor to the not to be mentioned two albums that Bruce was not in the band. I just really cannot connect to those albums. I've tried. But when Bruce comes back with Brave New World, fantastic album, a lot of brilliant stuff there. Then this album, which I feel was overshadowed by Brave New World and then the absolutely colossal Matter of Life and Death that came out in, I think it was 2007. Fantastic albums, and this one sits neatly in the middle and it's, it's just not quite getting the praise that the other two either side have gotten but it's a really great album if you if you're not familiar with this album dance of death then you really should be because this is maiden sounding like maiden but fresh heavy and new great album cannot recommend it enough dance of death if you just want to check out a few tracks definitely go for wildest dreams rainmaker Passchendaele and I'd say the title track Dance of Death. So there you have it. An album that I feel is criminally underrated. What do you think? Do you like this album? Do you think it's an underrated album? Let me know. I'm interested to hear. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please feel free to like and subscribe of course and check back soon for more videos, more reviews, more recommendations of all the good heavy stuff. Take care, my friends, and as always, stay heavy.